Welcome to Creepy, the best horror storyteller on YouTube. Part 1. The Eerie Prelude The office stood like a shadowy monolith amidst the city, its windows a black void against the night sky. James, a diligent young professional, had just joined the company. He was tasked with working the night shift, unaware of the eerie saga that awaited him. Entering the office, James was greeted by a dimly lit lobby adorned with outdated furniture. The air was suffocatingly still, and an inexplicable chill sent shivers down his spine. He shrugged it off, attributing it to the late hour and the deserted building. As he settled into his cubicle, the hum of his computer the only sound in the silence, strange occurrences began. The office printer, thought to be dormant, word to life with an otherworldly fervor, printing nonsensical strings of characters. Goosebumps prickled James's skin as he approached the machine. The paper it spat out was blank, save for a single line scrawled in a ghastly, smudged script. They watch. Dismissing it as a prank or a malfunction, James returned to his work, attempting to shrug off the ominous feeling crawling up his spine. Yet, the feeling of being watched persisted, intensifying with every passing minute. Soon, the flickering lights above cast unsettling shadows across the empty corridors. James peered into the darkness, his heart pounding, but he couldn't shake the sensation that someone or something was lurking just beyond sight. A chilling whisper echoed through the empty office, almost inaudible yet undeniably present. James had beckoned, sending icy tendrils of fear snaking down his back. He froze, scanning the room, but there was no one there. The voice seemed to originate from the void itself, hauntingly intimate and distant all at once. Frantically, James tried to rationalize the occurrences, attributing them to fatigue or stress-induced hallucinations. But the relentless sense of unease refused to dissipate. Just as he resolved to leave, the elevator, reserved for employees, groaned to life. Its metallic doors creaked open slowly, revealing nothing but a pitch-black shaft. A rush of cold air billowed out, carrying with it an indescribable stench, a nauseating mix of decay, and something far more sinister. The unsettling events of the night had reached an apex, and James found himself trembling in fear. With trembling hands, he gathered his belongings, ready to flee the office's haunting embrace. As he made his way to the exit, the lights flickered violently, plunging the office into darkness. A cacophony of whispers filled the air, growing louder and more malevolent with every passing moment. Panicked, James fumbled for his phone, desperately seeking the comforting glow of its screen in the suffocating blackness. Just as his phone illuminated the path to the exit, the whispers crescendoed into a deafening cacophony. James sprinted towards the door, his heart racing, the chilling sensation of unseen eyes burning into his back. He burst through the exit, gasping for air, and stumbled into the street, the distant sound of the closing door echoing behind him. His eyes widened in terror as he turned back to see the office windows, now glowing in ominous red, framing the silhouette of a figure standing on the top floor, a figure that should not have been there. Drained and trembling, James fled into the night, haunted by the inexplicable events of his first night shift at the new office, events that continued to haunt his every waking moment. Part 2. Echoes of Dread Despite the harrowing events of his first night at the office, James, driven by a mix of curiosity and dread, found himself compelled to return. He couldn't shake off the sinister allure that had taken hold of him since that fateful night. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the cityscape, James stood before the foreboding office building once more. The familiar chill raced down his spine as he stepped inside, bracing himself for what lay ahead. The lobby greeted him with the same eerie silence, the same stifling atmosphere that seemed to swallow sound itself. This time, however, James entered cautiously, his senses alert for any sign of the inexplicable. The printer, which had previously printed cryptic messages, sat dormant, seemingly untouched since that night. Yet, the stillness felt like a precursor to something ominous, an unsettling calm before an inevitable storm. Resuming his work, James tried to ignore the foreboding air that hung heavy around him. But the faint whispers, barely audible yet unmistakably present, taunted his sanity. They swirled around him, teasing at the edge of his consciousness like malevolent phantoms. As the clock struck midnight, the office plunged into darkness once more. A chorus of whispers rose from the depths of the building, their sinister symphony encircling James like a suffocating embrace. He fumbled for his phone, the only beacon of light in the oppressive darkness. Its glow revealed faint, 
ghostly figures flitting at the periphery of his vision, specters dancing on the edges of reality, beckoning him into their realm. Attempting to flee, James stumbled toward the exit, but the door refused to yield. Panic clawed at his throat as he hammered on the unyielding barrier, pleading for escape from the encroaching malevolence. In the depths of the inky blackness, a pair of crimson eyes materialized, piercing through the darkness with an otherworldly glow. They fixated on James, their gaze a chilling blend of curiosity and malice, freezing him in terror. With a deafening shriek, the whispers crescendoed into a cacophony of unearthly wails, assaulting James's senses. The spectral figures drew closer, their ethereal forms contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to defy the laws of reality. Desperate, James retreated further into the office, seeking refuge in the labyrinthine corridors. Yet, no matter where he turned, the haunting whispers followed, echoing through the empty halls like a chilling symphony of the damned. As he rounded a corner, a ghastly apparition materialized before him, a spectral figure cloaked in tattered garments, its hollow gaze fixed upon him. Paralyzed by terror, James watched in horror as the apparition reached out, its spectral fingers inches away from his face. Summoning every ounce of willpower, James tore himself from the specter's grasp and sprinted through the maze-like corridors, his heart pounding with the rhythm of impending doom. Finally reaching the elevator, James frantically mashed the buttons, praying for an escape from the nightmare. With a metallic groan, the doors slid shut, sealing him within the confines of the claustrophobic box hurtling toward an uncertain fate. The elevator ascended, its ascent marked by an eerie silence, until it abruptly halted between floors. The lights flickered, plunging James into darkness once more, leaving him trapped in the suffocating embrace of the unknown. Breathless and consumed by fear, James awaited his fate, trapped in the abyss between floors, haunted by the unexplained horrors of the office that defied rationality. Stay tuned for the continuation in Part 3 to uncover more chilling revelations in the sinister forces that lurk within the depths of the office's shadowy confines. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more similar horror stories.